Hi, I'm Erica from Lincoln Southwest. <laughs> and this is my poem, The Fire of My Mind. The burning sensation that seems to have no end or beginning envelops my thoughts, suffocating my will to continue. I've searched the dark and dangerous catacombs in my mind for what might have started it, only to find myself burnt with the fruits of my labor. Along the way, I meet dragons who only add to the crackling blaze of my self-loathing. When I think I have finally found water, I jump in, only to be burnt again by the pure acidity of trust it holds. When I think I have finally discovered the end, I open a door allowing oxygen to seep right in, fueling the inferno of my exhaustion. When I think I have finally climbed high enough to escape the heat, I lose my grip and fall back into the devouring flare of my thoughts. I think I'm the only one affected by the scorch until I stumble upon the bodies of the people who have tried to rescue me, reliving the memories. I can't do this, I just can't. Not anymore, not with the way it's gone so far. I walk past a door I have passed a million times, but never opened in fear of fueling the fire. This time though, I hear a sound from beyond it that was never there before, a gurgling sound, a sound of water hitting rocks mixed with someone crying. I fight with myself on whether to open it or not. I am afraid I will be burned some more, but also curious about what and who is making the anxious noises. I can't take it anymore, so I close my eyes as I open the ferocious looking door to be met with cool water rushing over me. I open my eyes wide in realization that I have not been burnt this time. In fact, the fire of my mind is gone, hissing away as the water evaporates, and that is when I notice the figure curled up in the corner. Unlike all the other bodies, I have found this one was moving, moving in a way that showed the person was still breathing, a heart was still beating, a reason to not give up, to continue this lonely journey known as life. A soul not chasing me through the maze of my mind, instead someone to help me conquer the dark caverns of my mind, someone to help slay the j monstrous dragons of doubt, to cross the acidic rivers of hatred with, to explore the grand rooms of fear with, to climb the slippery slopes of success with. Someone who doesn't judge my scars because they have their own, who listens to my story with an open mind and a caring heart for they have their own to tell, who doesn't give up on me because they know the difficulties of recovery, whom I'm willing to let help because they put the fire in my mind out.